the subtlety of how it's implanted has sometimes not been well described to first, uh, first using surgeons, uh, and they've had an early bad experience and then developed an opinion about the device that really isn't true or accurate. Uh, to date, uh, uh, Dr. Lawson and I have implanted uh, uh, 150 implants at this point. We've followed not only our patients, but uh, some other joining centers. And so, in fact, we've published, I think, most of the significant long-term follow-up uh, for this device in the world literature. We've seen this device uh, really prove that it's durable. Um, it can be um, restarted if it has a thrombosis event or if it clots off. Uh, and we've been able to document that an infection rate of a patient, once they get this device functioning well and they've gotten off of their perm cath, uh, puts them at a point which is as low or lower than those who function on standard dialysis grafts. So patients have a low infection rate, long-term durability of the dialysis circuit, of the dialysis graft system in this case, um, and really good clinical outcomes. Our primary patency numbers for the Hero graft uh, were as good as um, uh, conventional AV grafts um, at, at six months being uh, roughly 60 percent uh, patency and, and at 12 months roughly 50 percent patency. Um, but I think what's most, what's, what was most striking to us was our secondary patency. Um, and at 6, 12, and 24 months, our secondary patency has remained somewhere around 90%, which is a, a, a dramatic improvement in comparison to dialysis grafts and quite significant in comparison to dialysis catheters.